So today, we are tourists. Welcome to Iceland. Here we are in Reykjavik. Tomorrow, we are anglers. Setting out on a, on a pretty scary journey. We're fairly wary about this trip. Oh my god, oh my god. Too. This is where things really start getting serious and I don't think we were ready for it because we all woke up kind of late today Chris actually isn't here. Chris is scrambling right now. He's got a normal rental car He actually had a place that was just down the road So he's got to pick up his stuff from there and then he's got to meet at the airport, but uh, I'm just about Packed up our uh, big shark rail was almost finished pulling last night We didn't really get quite there, but I think once we get to our location today We'll finish we will be prepared once we touch down in Tasselak and we'll be ready to tackle hopefully cross paths with the Greenland shark. I'll meet you guys in the airport. We're at the Reykjavik airport right now, about to hop on our flight to Kalusu, and then Tesla. Gotta go through TSA. Yes. It's not called TSA, yeah. it's called whatever Iceland calls it. We are moments away from leaving Iceland and heading onwards to Greenland. I think the one thing I'm most excited about and like slightly nervous about is just like going to some place that I really didn't do any research on. I know very, very little bit about Greenland. I, I knew nothing about Iceland and pretty much virtually anything about Greenland. So um, getting there will be kind of like a culture shock for me. I don't really know where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do. We have this guy that we're gonna meet with. His name is Rasmus. Don't have any clue if he has any idea what he's doing either. He's never caught one of these sharks before. Um, but he is familiar with the Greenland area. I'm just pumped. I'm sure you guys have that same feeling, like going somewhere new. There's always just like that uneasiness feeling. I woke up like a kind of with a knot in my stomach, but it's a good kind of knot. Like, like that kind of like, you know, we're about to do something really badass and we might get a little bit lost uh, type of knot. So we're gonna turn the camera off. I think it's about an hour flight. And then once we touch down, we'll be in Greenland. The trip will officially have taken full effect. Whew. All right, let's go. Time to reject is one and a half hour and uh, we'll get the 
other information? No. Well, um, we just received some pretty bad news right now. This is, uh, I feel like I'm actually stuck. I've never felt like stuck before on a trip, but this is, this may not happen. Let me catch you up real quick. We just did a, a quick pass on Calusa, the airport. Did not realize how mountainous this place was. There's dense fog surrounding the mountains in which the landing strip of the airport's at. And I don't think these guys can get the plane down. As a matter of fact, they're not gonna even try to get the plane down. We just did one pass. The guy dipped for about five seconds. It got real sketchy. He went basically on a 90 degree angle. We were like this for 30 seconds. And then he went right back up through the clouds. And now we're coasting. Um, and he just announced that we're going back to Reykjavik, Iceland. This is like the one and only flight to Klusik, I believe, for the entire day. I also didn't realize that we had one of the guides on the same flight with us, Lars, who I talked to like a, a while ago, just asked, he's like, do you guys have a few extra days? And we're like, not really. You know, we didn't really prepare to have two or three extra days to be here in freaking the Arctic territory to chase up these sharks. This was kind of our shot. Excuse me, is there more flights going from, from Reykjavik to Klusik tomorrow then? So maybe there's a flight back to Kalusik from Reykjavik tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not, at this point, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not optimistic about this. I don't know really what the game plan is here because I don't think anyone on this airplane knows what the game plan is. back in Iceland. I guess the issue was there's just too much fog to land. Um, and it's not like we're dealing with a flat prairie land in Illinois and too much fog. There are giant mountains, which could totally catch an airplane trying to swoop down and land on the strip. It just made for a really nasty cocktail for uh, flying around, so we, did, we didn't happen to land. We literally flew back. I've never had this happen before. Optimism is the key in trying to overcome this obstacle, and I think if we just figure out the logistics, book some more flights, go back to the drawing board, we can make this shark fishing trip happen. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, at 12, we'll try again. So, so tomorrow, not Monday? No, tomorrow. Perfect, I like this. So everybody is, I guess, would be rebooked. Automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Very but nice. uh, we check with the information disk. Okay. And then uh, we go from there. <laughs> oh, it's three beds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, I just say it double because they all booked. Oh. Okay. Uh, Good news. Um, thankfully, we flew with a decent airline, and they hooked us up not only with a taxi, a ride to our hotel, but a free hotel room and free dinner. So this is like huge and clutch. Like, again, silver lining here. You gotta think about the positives. Did you um, say dinner like here? I don't know, I think just dinner in general. The goal for tonight is to get ranger steaks. I really want these two to try ranger steaks. When I was in Sweden, I had like the best ranger steaks. It's so good. And I think I mean, Chris will like it. It's, yeah, I mean, it's delicious. Love, like, it tastes better than honestly like most regular steaks I've had. Okay, let's get up to the... No, I know. Oh, it's closing. Okay, well, <laughs> screw the pooch on that. We'll meet you guys in the room. Fox is there. Hey guys, welcome back. We are, um, we continue our day in Iceland. You haven't missed much. We've been napping, right? Hardcore napping, a little bit of footage dumping. Um, I guess this is like an extra opportunity for us to kind of ease into this second leg of the journey, which is of course Greenland. Okay. So I'm gonna hopefully have Chris experience his first ever piece of reindeer. I don't know if it's gonna be steak form or ground, ground, piece cut. ground reindeer cut. I don't know what type of cut it is. If it's gonna be New York strip or a little bit of back strap, but I really, really want them to try reindeer. Also, Brian too is filming right now. I think they really like it. So we're gonna wait in our taxi. Just gonna explore Reiki back and try to make lemonade out of lemons. Here we are in Reykjavik. Kind of a sick ride. Got the whip in the bends. Chris got the taxi. Shout out to Chris. Thanks, Chris. Um, we're just gonna tour around, look for some spots to eat. So we found reindeer. 
I'm gonna get some for Chris. Chris keeps saying he's not hungry, but I'm sorry, bud. We have to try some right here. I mean, there's like minky whale on this menu. There's puffin. They've got Arctic char. Everything that lives in the Arctic can order on this menu right now. They got grilled king crabs. Unbelievable. All right, we just got some um, some bread here. Uh, buddy came over and uh, explained to us what kind of butters we got for our bread, which might add is served on a piece of lava rock. We got, uh, and help me out here, Chris, if I screw up, volcanic salt butter, right? Lava salt. Lava salt butter, which comes from a volcano. And we've got sea salt. And then we've got skier butter, which I think is like some sort of sheep's milk or goat's milk or I don't know. But um, here in Iceland, they serve butter three different ways and on a stone slab. Oh yeah, straight out of the volcano. Real, real strong hint of destruction. Hint of obsidian. Obsidian, yeah. Is that diamond there? Good. All right. Pause for a second. I don't even know what that is. Why did you order an antique instead of a drink? This is like... <laughs> that does look like something you find in your grandma's like inner flower pot yeah. in the front. There's like yeah. a bunch of dried weird get, looking... Get a little of this. Chris has one of these little tiny... What are these things called? They're like when you hang your laundry up or if you lived in Italy this in the early basil. 1800s, this is what you would hang your... This is basil. This is they, basil. They clipped basil onto the side. Oh my god. That's strong. Over there, there's no fence. Look at that thing. It's crazy. Um, I don't even know why we turned the camera. I just want to roast Chris on this pretty little drink we got. <laughs> I like how you did that. <laughs> so with the reindeer, you have apple and celery salad on top. Okay. And underneath, you have cream uh, mushrooms and red cabbage. Thank you so much. Oh, believe me, we're gonna. We are totally going to enjoy this. The food has been served. We got steak, got reindeer, and we got minky whale. Right here, the reindeer, right? Yeah, reindeer. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Chris, you ready for this? This is gonna be so good. You want me to do the honors? You sure? <laughs> so delicious. Isn't that good? It's very different, isn't it? It's not gamey. No. Dude, that's incredible. Do you approve? Chris approves. It's like better than any steak. That's what I'm saying. When I first had it, when it, so the first time I had reindeer was in Sweden. I was like surprised. I was like, oh, this is gonna be like a novelty. Like, oh yeah, everyone eats sweet. Everyone eats reindeer in Sweden. It's gonna be kind of cool. But I ate it and I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my god, this is like the best food ever. So I had to get these guys on some reindeer. I think it was a missing success. Ah. So. We've had reindeer, one arctic mammal. Next is minky whale. You ready? First minky Cheers. Whale. Cheers. Whale. Yeah. It's definitely interesting. It's not bad. It's salty. It definitely tastes like it comes straight out of the ocean. I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it either. I'm glad we got it though. Compared to the reindeer, the reindeer, boom, you can't beat the reindeer. Sorry, Mickey Will. Even though the reindeer is smaller than you, maybe slower than you, not swim as much as you, the reindeer definitely tastes better. Okay, let's continue to eat. I'm gonna put the camera down, chill, just enjoy this moment, feast. Now it's time to feast. Night that was. Was that not the crazy? You're yeah. jumping here. Come here. Come, come, jump. in come, here on, come on, come buddy, on buddy, my Iceland here, buddy. Son. What an amazing night that was. We just finished eating some of the best food I've ever eaten. 
Yeah. Honestly, I, I can confidently say that. Reindeer is 10 out of 10. We learned that that restaurant has been visited by a few famous people. It was visited by, uh, well, of course, us. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, Kanye West. Yeah, but Kanye West and Kim Kardashian apparently went there last month, and they ordered one of everything on the menu except the steak. They ordered two of each type of steak. But what's way more impressive is right. what he said. Gordon Ramsay comes to Iceland every summer to uh, fly fish. fish. Yeah. And uh, he always goes to that restaurant, so that definitely gave So that made us little, feel good about our yeah. restaurant choices. We were like, maybe on the cusp of that we were going to the right place, but now that hearing after Gordon Ramsay, that's like his, his hot spot in the summertime, we feel confident that was an epic place. Along with that, we went to the Icelandic Craft Bar. Two thumbs up. Two strong thumbs up for this bar. We met the Magic Viking, who is this guy right here. An incredible human being, an amazing individual. We picked his brain for 30 minutes after his set. Uh, first and foremost, he's a hilarious student, very talented with music. But he told us a little bit about Klusik and how to capture the Northern Lights on footage. And while we're here to fish and, and you know, really kind of try to catch one of these fish and bring it tops on the ice, we want to try to do other stuff like see the Northern Lights and, and just try to get the most epic footage of everything around us we want to make it we want to make it so we want to make it seem like you guys are here with us here in Greenland and Iceland take uh, everything in just just to absorb it but we had a few brewskis we're feeling good and I think this is where the night will end thank you guys so much for watching hopefully I'm praying to God that tomorrow we get on a flight it is not foggy and we will land in Klusik and hopefully make our way to, to see like to catch some Greenland sharks I'm feeling optimistic I think we can do this this today just had to happen we had to recharge you know, get everything back in our body so that we are ready to hit it hard tomorrow. We appreciate the view, thank you so much. Good night, Iceland, take care, and as always, keep fishing, never stop. Thank you.